If you think that obfuscating your location and your IP address won't trace anything back to you, you're wrong. Certain situations require you to leave no trace of your activity on the device you're using, which is a problem nowadays, as regular operating systems are designed to store tons of sensitive data on the hardware of the machine they are installed on. This is why you should consider using Tails. Tails is an operating system that is designed to run off of a USB flash drive, instead of being permanently installed on an internal drive, which allows it to wipe all of the information about a session's activity from the system's host's memory. Once a user plugs out their flash drive, reboots, or shut down their system, it contains the word incognito in its name, because its entire traffic is routed through Tor, and the default fingerprint of each Tails installation matches perfectly with every other Tails user on the planet. That's why in this tutorial of online anonymity, I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating a Tails USB drive that you can add to your toolbox, and have it ready for whenever you want to browse the internet anonymously while ensuring that your online activities remain untraceable, even if someone gains physical access to your device. So let's get started. Okay so first of all, download the official Tails image file from its website, located at tails.boum.org. You can also use the Tor browser if you wish to obtain the image file anonymously. Next, scroll down and click on Install Tails, to choose which operating system you'll be installing Tails from. I'm gonna click on Windows as I want to keep this tutorial simple and easy to understand for everyone, but if you're using Linux, don't worry the installation process is same except some minor differences which I'll be pointing out throughout the video. After selecting your host operating system, scroll down and download the image file either directly from a mirror link, or by using a BitTorrent client, I'm gonna go with the direct option. Once downloaded, click on this option of selecting your image file for verification, and confirm that it was not compromised while downloading. If the verification was successful, you're ready to flash Tails onto a USB stick with a minimum of 8GB of storage. This process is straightforward on all platforms. For Windows or Mac OS, start by downloading this simple utility called Etcher. Once downloaded, open it, and click on Flash from File to select the Tails image file. Next, choose the USB flash drive, and finally click on Flash. For Linux, you can simply use the built-in disk utility to flash Tails onto your USB drive. Just open it, select the flash drive, and click on the Restore Disk Image option to select the image file. Once the Tails image file has been successfully flashed onto the USB drive, you're ready to boot into Tails for the first time. So to boot into Tails, restart your computer, and access the boot menu by pressing the Escape, F1, F2, or the F12 key on your keyboard when the computer is turning back on, and highlight the USB drive that you flashed Tails on from the presented menu. Then hit Enter to boot into Tails. Next, select the first option from this bootloader, and when presented with this screen, select your desired language, your keyboard layout, then click on Start Tails. Now one of the issues that I have seen many people encounter when booting into Tails, is related to network connectivity. This is because Linux in general is not the best with Wi-Fi cards, and if your Wi-Fi interface is not showing or is not available, you may use an Ethernet cable or purchase a Linux-compatible Wi-Fi adapter for about $10 to $15 from Amazon. But anyways once you're connected to your network, a window like this will pop up, asking you about the type of Tor connection you'd like to establish. If you don't want your internet service provider or anyone monitoring your network to know that you're using Tor, go with the second option. But if you don't care about anyone finding out, choose the first option. Now if someone was planning on doing something illegal while using Tor, which is highly discouraged by the way, it would be recommended to go with the second option, as there have been several cases where people failed to hide the fact that they were using Tor, and raised suspicions with the police. Once you're done selecting, Tails will start configuring the Tor connection, and once completed, you can click on Start Tor Browser to launch it. I will soon be making a video on how you can use the Tor Browser securely, so stay tuned for that. Next, if you wish to store some confidential files on your Tails USB drive, you can choose this option of creating an encrypted persistent storage, but keep in mind that this persistent storage will be encrypted and not hidden, meaning that if someone is holding your Tails USB drive, they will be able to see that there is an encrypted partition, and might force you to reveal your password through necessary means. Anyway guys this is it for the video, before ending, I would like to emphasize that no tool can truly anonymize you, if you have poor operational security, and don't know what you're doing. So I recommend educating yourself by reading different articles on anonymity, and a good place to start is by watching this video, where I go over some real life cases where several individuals were caught using Tor, and what we can learn from their mistakes. With that being said, if you have any questions regarding this video, make sure to ask them in the comments section down below and I'll see you in the next one.